This week represented a massive rebound in the market. Let's talk about what happened. Good evening, my fellow Riz Elite members, and of course, all of our subscribers here on YouTube. I'm Chris with Riz International, and welcome to your weekly market recap. Now, last week, if you remember, we were kind of talking about these support and resistance areas that we've been looking at for quite some time on the S&P 500, and I did say uh, that, you know, that this 4,000 area may result in some resistance, and we did see that. We saw that rejection on Friday. We came back down here on Tuesday and tested the 50, bounced off of the 50 and it has been up and up and up ever since we blew through resistance at 4,000 on uh, Wednesday as it would be and then Thursday now resistance became support because we came back down here and bought back up into it and Friday we just kept on going uh, now of course there's a lot of strange things going on you know we had the fed rate hike of 75 basis points and then we had the second gdp print that was negative so we are in a technical recession right now now i understand that the uh you know the talking heads in washington say that we're not in a recession and obviously we identify as not being in a recession but the truth is we are in a recession whether they want to admit it or not now you may be asking well why in the world is the market going up shouldn't it be going down what's up with that well, you know, I think there's a lot of different things in going in, into this. One, there's a lot of talk, you know, ahead of time, lead up to this. And basically, they admitted that there was going to be a recession. I mean, come on, let's, let's be honest here. We all understand that that's what's actually going on. We know that there is a recession and that, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. But what we're seeing here from what uh, I was talking with Riz about this the other day is we're seeing a lot of institutional buyers closing up their short positions. So they are covering. Now, you gotta understand when you cover a short position you buy back so they may have shorted you know somewhere up in this area uh, and now with this rebound they're gonna buy back in so that's gonna put buying pressure in the market which can push things back up with enough volume so we're seeing that happen here and then of course listen guys there there can be bounces it's not going to be straight down all the time i mean let's look at this you know let, let's trace this out uh you know how we started we kind of started here in january and you know we went down and then we went back up and then we went down and whoops i clicked the wrong button there that was great let's do it again so you know down up down up down up then big down little up big down and then we're just kind of meandering this direction so, you know, the, the truth is we are still in a downtrend. Now, I will admit trend has broken a bit here. We are definitely now more in an uptrend, but we still have some overhead resistance here, probably closer to 4,200 that we're going to be keeping an eye on. But overall trend, you know, big picture right now, even with this rebound is still looking towards the downside. Now, that's not to say that it's guaranteed that we're going to go down, but we do have the 200 simple moving average here, which as you know, I'm a huge proponent of the 200. It's well known as a big buying and selling area. A lot of big players put their orders on at the 200 simple moving average so as we continue to push up if we continue to push up uh, in the next week we may see a test of that 200 and we're going to have to be very careful when we get to that area which is why of course we're advising you if you have positions in the green and if you are part of elite and you followed Riz's advice and you got in when he recommended you should have a lot of positions in the green at this point it is a good idea to go ahead and consider to start taking some profits as I'm very fond of saying, and I'll keep saying it until people understand it, no one lost money by taking profits, okay? You can take that money to the bank and, you know, wave at the market as you go by because you beat the man. What you can do to lose that money is you continue to bag hold and hoping that it goes higher and higher and higher. Now, the truth is you want to try and capture the, a part of the move. We're not looking to maximize, you know, our ins and our outs. It's always very difficult to really time the market perfectly. And anybody who tells you that they can is full of crap. And I'm gonna be honest with you about that. Even Riz can't do it. Uh, you know, there are times where we have to get in. We get in like, you know, over here around, you know, 42, or maybe we got in here around, you know, 38, and then it bounced. And you'd be like, oh, yeah, you didn't pick the right time because then it came back down here to 36. But, you know, as long as you have a solid thesis and you're taking profits when they become available, you're not going to lose money. And as long as you keep your time horizon at an appropriate level, you should be just fine. So if you do have positions in the green, 
we're starting to close some of our positions. I'm not going to tell you what to do. This shouldn't be constru construed as financial advice, but uh, for our elite members, you do know our recommendations uh, because we do put those live for you in there. Uh, a couple areas that we're going to be keeping an eye on here, obviously 42 and 4300 are going to be pretty critical areas there. There's going to be a lot of buying and selling. And of course, the 200 simple moving average is going to be a big one. And then of course, this descending resistance line. That, that in my opinion, is going to be the big test. We're going to have the 200 and then we're going to have this. And the 200 may start to kind of curl back up here fairly soon. Uh, you know, obviously we, we have a lot of uh, data here. Uh, let's see. So we're about in this area. So yeah, there, the 200 is starting to kind of come down, but it's looking to be perking up a little bit. So uh, obviously the 50 start to curl back up and then the 100 will start to do it before the 200 does. But uh, yeah, uh, I think that this 200 may push itself above my resistance line here in the next couple months. And if that happens, that will be interesting to see which one plays a bigger magnet for the market, a bigger point of resistance and buying and selling. So that's something that we're going to be keeping an eye on. Let's go ahead and take a look here at uh, the breakdown of the S&P 500 when, well, the market's up, everything's up, right? Uh, everything's starting to perk back up. Of course, tech has had some pretty big earnings announcements here lately that uh, really helped push this back up. And, uh, you know, things are looking up. Energy starting to push back up again after this little bit of a dip, though that's not necessarily indicative of what's going on with oil. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Utilities pushing up over the zero line for, uh, you know, it has been kind of flirting with the zero for a while, but a nice decisive move over zero. Healthcare is right behind it down there at negative five while uh, utilities is about plus four of course energy is just killing it this year at plus 37 s p 500 and just remember is still down on the year almost 14 percent so this is something that is still you know yes we are seeing a bit of an upturn but we haven't even gotten back to the levels we were at on january 1 so just keep that in mind as we continue to go through the week and the months and you know we keep an eye on everything as things move forward we talked about energy perking up a little bit. Uh, we were talking about this test of the 200 moving average here on oil, and it looks like the 200 as well as this support level here right around 93.75 has held solid, and I mean rock solid. Uh, we pushed down below it here on the 14th pretty hard, but the massive buying pressure from down there, and that 200 is holding strong right now. A little bit of a curl up on oil here. We may see a push back towards $100 a barrel this week. We'll have to see. Pretty hard rejection of 100 on uh, Friday, but uh, you know that upward pressure and this support here should help push oil back up, but we'll have to see how that goes. Gold making a pretty decisive move along with the market here, bouncing off of that support level that we've had marked for months, the 1680 area. Area has been solid for gold, about as solid as the gold that it represents. But now we're stuck between a two support levels or support and resistance levels. We've got 1765, where we closed right below this resistance area, but we had this nice bounce off of 1680. So uh, if the market continues to rally, I suspect that gold will continue to go with it. Uh, but that will have to be determined as things go. Uh, taking a look at cryptocurrency here, crypto has been a bit of an enigma lately. It's really just been kind of hanging out around 20,000. It's just stuck between this 20 and 25,000 area. Uh, really hasn't done too much of anything, to be honest with you. Uh, there's been some pretty massive swings over the last couple days, uh, you know, especially here on the 27th and the, the 28th. Pretty solid up days, and then we just kind of hit this 25 area, and now we're just kind of stagnating here on Bitcoin. So still massive downtrend on Bitcoin. We'll have to see if that trend reverses or not. We are in a slight uptrend. We are making higher lows over the last couple of days, but we'll have to see if that continues. Not a whole lot of trades to talk about for this week, but uh, you know, a couple of the big earnings that came out, of course, Amazon was massive, huge win for Amazon, even though they missed here on uh, earnings. They actually had negative earnings, but look at that gap up over 13%, if I'm not mistaken. That was huge, massive push on Amazon and a really big indecision candle here on Friday. You know, just a lot of buying, selling, and close almost flat on the day. So big, big push here on Amazon. And if you got in on the split, trying to get yourself uh, you know, a little bit of profit, you hopefully have been able to take that now because a nice little push there on Amazon. Apple, uh, nice win on Apple as well. Let's see here what the numbers say. 
a uh, nice little four cent per share beat so three percent beat and revenue was up as well a, a paltry 167 million what can i say nice little jump over to the 200 simple moving average here and you know apple definitely helping push the market up on friday as well as those amazon earnings that was very very good for them so that was a couple of the big ones looks like x dividend date here is coming up on apple so that'll be nice 23 cents a share you'd think that apple could do more than that but hey they didn't ask me uh, but now's the time where we go ahead and open it up to questions. I want to go ahead and let uh, our, all of our elite members here, of course, go ahead and post their questions live in chat. Uh, I'd love to know what you're looking at or what you want to discuss, uh, things of that nature. But uh, if you're not a member of elite, make sure that you get prepared the next time that this happens, uh, that we open up membership, you want to jump on that. So make sure that when you have that opportunity, you're part of this because it's not just the webinars, guys. It's all of the access to all of our trades, our advice, our guidance. Uh, of course, direct access to Riz is always a nice bonus. Uh, and I know he wanted to be here with us tonight, but uh, he had a family commitment. So we wish him well on that. Hopefully he will be here next week and uh, we can get his opinion on everything going on in the market. But, uh, you know, of course, earnings are in full swing at this point and earnings so far have been for the most part pretty decent from what I'm seeing. And I think that's helping push the market up a bit. Uh, and we'll see if this rebound continues, if we can push through this area here where we kind of stalled out at last time, which is right around this 4180, uh, 4175. This area here was really kind of where we stalled. So let's go ahead and just stick that in there for future reference. Yeah, about there, that seems good. Uh, so right in that area, uh, is kind of where we're at. So we're going to keep an eye on that green line here moving this week. And uh, yeah, it was quite a surprise. Honestly, I was flabbergasted with uh, with this move. But yeah, you know, it is what it is. And uh, we're going to keep an eye on things. But I will say that, you know, sometimes we have a delayed response in the market. Think about some earnings, you know, that you're like, well, they missed so bad, but yet the stock is up. What's going on? Yeah, sometimes it does go up and then it comes back down and it corrects itself. So uh, let's give it some time. Uh, if the market continues to rally, of course, then we'll be taking advantage of that. I can promise you that much. And uh, But we will be cautious and we recommend you be cautious as well. Uh, I'm not seeing anybody type in any questions in the chat. So uh, of course, I value your time and I appreciate you coming here and being live on this webinar for all of our elite members. For everybody watching on YouTube, if you made it this far, make sure you click like and subscribe down below. Join us here on our channel and help that channel grow so we can reach more traders who are looking to increase their probabilities of success in the market and help secure their financial future. So with that, I want to wish everybody an absolutely amazing weekend. Have some time off. Uh, the weather here is looking very nice. So uh, we're going to spend some time outside, do a little grilling and uh, do whatever it is that makes you happy. Uh, my recommendation right now with everything going on with all of the craziness in this world is take the time that you have and enjoy it uh, because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of negativity and sometimes we just need to disconnect from that. So take this time off from the weekend, disconnect from that, enjoy yourself, have a good time, and we will see you in the market on Monday.